Now continuing coverage of that fire at MLK Junior Community Presbyterian Church in Springfield that caused some severe damage. 22 News reporter Katrina Kincaid is live at the church with the latest update. Taylor restoration of the church began today. We have the windows that have been boarded up now as well as the roof. And when I just got here, actually, I'll show you that the Department of Fire Services Special Operations as well as Springfield Arson and Bomb have a ride. They did some setup and they're investigating what the cause may have been with this fire. Now remember, there was a brand new roof that they did just put on this church right before Christmas. We saw people walking by the church this morning, taking pictures of the damage, according to Massachusetts Department of Fire Services. The fire is not officially being called intentionally set because the investigation into the origin and cause is ongoing, but Springfield Fire says it is suspicious. One woman who we spoke to said her mother-in-law has been going to the church was in tears when she found out about the fire. It's a sad thing that someone has to purposely burn down a church in order for whatever revenge or whatever they're going through. It's not right. It's not right. And I hope justice gets done. The State Department of Fire Services say fires in houses of worship are taken very seriously because they have a great impact on the entire community. Spokesperson Jennifer Meath says all possible causes are being considered as they work to determine where the fire started and then how. And a $5,000 reward is being given to anyone who can come forward with either a suspect or information on the cause. If you have any of that, you can call the hotline at 800-682-9229. Working for you in Springfield, Katrina Kincaid, 22 News.